Experiments are a very useful and important part of discovering new things. So, it's really no surprise that some rather strange things have been tested. Hey there viral fans, TBL here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 experiments that I personally wouldn't like to be included in. But alright, let's start off today's top 10 list. In our number 10 spot, we have the weight of the soul experiment. Dr. Duncan McDougall, an American physician in the early 20th century, had theorized that the human soul has weight. Here, he weighed six patients who were dying. He took their pre-mortem weight and then their post-mortem weight, which he then subtracted from their living weight. He then calculated that the human soul has a weight of about 21 grams. This, however, was never really recognized in the research community. For number nine, this crazy German surgical trainee, Werner Theodor Otto Forstmann, actually stabbed his own heart. While he was under local anesthetic and without any directions, he inserted a catheter up his arm and all the way into his heart. He then had to walk to the x-ray room to prove that he had indeed reached his heart. Now, he was fired for doing this, but he was also given the 1956 Nobel Prize in Medicine for developing a method that allowed cardiac catheterization. In a real-life Frankenstein experiment, Johann Conrad Dippel, who was actually born in the Frankenstein castle in 1673, was an alchemist and a physician. It was rumored that he had tried to move the soul of a corpse into another with just a funnel, a hose, and some lubricant. Interesting experiment. But because he was a grave robber, he was run right out of town. California is home to the High Explosives Applications Facility, which is also known as HEAF. On their website, they state that there are seven large, fully contained firing tanks for testing explosives that can safely detonate experiments. However, they got a bit too curious when testing their melting lasers, which were used to cut through Stinger missiles. They wound up causing a very large explosion, which was obviously not contained, nor was it safe. Hmm, it would probably fit pretty well in a Michael Bay movie, though. Coming in at number six, Thomas Edison was, of course, a very smart man that had invented many things. But he was in a constant battle with Nikola Tesla over electricity and who would control America's electricity market. Tesla, of course, came up with AC currents of electricity and Edison came up with DC. And in order to disprove and smear Tesla, Edison publicly executed Topsy the Elephant by electrocuting him with Tesla's AC currents. Jose Delgado was very interested with animals. In what could have turned into something from Planet of the Apes, he developed something called a Stemaceiver, which was a computer chip that was operated by a control unit. These chips were implanted into the animal's skulls. Now, these chips, when activated, would cause anything from involuntary movement of limbs all the way up to changes in emotion and appetite through electric pulses. Schizophrenia is a terrible psychological disorder that causes the patient to become paranoid where they hear voices that aren't really there. Dr. Ewan Cameron had supposedly come up with a cure for this disorder. The cure involved listening to positive messages through headphones for days or weeks at a time. In the 1950s and 60s, however, patients that had minor symptoms of schizophrenia were often strapped into beds of mental hospitals and forced to listen to these messages. Cameron had even gotten the CIA to enforce these methods for quite some time, but once they found out about their ineffectiveness, they pulled their funding and declared the technique a failure. Philip Zimbardo was very intrigued about why prisons were always so violent, so he decided to recruit young men that had no criminal record to stage a prison. Half of the men were guards and the other half were prisoners. On the first night, the prisoners were already planning a revolt. Because of the corrosive psychology of the prison system, they began to break down and even the guards were becoming a bit paranoid. After only six days, he had to call off the experiment entirely because he had just turned college guys into prisoners and guards. In 1780, Luigi Galvani discovered that electric currents would cause a frog's limbs to move. So, Luigi's nephew decided to see what this would do to a human corpse. He shocked a body with 120 volts of electricity, and when the wires were hooked up to the left eye, the eyelids opened and it made it seem like the corpse was looking at his torturer. And as if that weren't morbid enough, he also hooked up one wire to an ear and another wire was inserted into the corpse's rectum. The corpse then began to dance hideously. 
This seems like a pretty weird experiment to take part in. I know I'd be terrified to be anywhere near that. And in our last spot, we have Yosef Mengel's experiments on twins. Here, he would take twins from concentration camps and then make them draw blood, generally every day. He would also inject them with chemicals in an attempt to create blue eyes. The twins were measured extensively in order to study hereditary traits and how they carried on to twins. And those are 10 experiments that I certainly would have wanted no part of. Make sure to tweet at Grow12Official if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see here on the channel. And of course, if you guys would like to hear more from me, be sure to check me out right here on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash the black link. There'll be links to all that in the description box below. But alright, that's it for this one guys. As always, I am the black link, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.